everybody, I'm Christian from Berlin and there are already many tutorials on this out there. So I thought if I add one on top, it's got to be really good. I got to offer you a lot and I will. I'll show you of course the hook line, then the theme uh, and I will suggest you a better way of playing the theme than most tutorials who just show you the one note way. Also I will add improvisation ideas, explain the background of the scales and for dessert, big cheesecake, I will add the drum loop in the end that you can play along that that's coming in the end I hope that's enough for you I hope you like it let's go work uh, one thing because there's so much in it I had to sacrifice one thing that is usually my tutorials it is the slow replay please for to, to watch my the solo in slow motion please use the YouTube slow down function <laughs> okay otherwise I wouldn't have fitted everything in there it would have been like too long okay is it a compromise hope so Let's rock this thing. As I said, I go, I proceed in a certain tempo because I want to explain a lot to you. Let's start with the left hand. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and 
four, and right hand over it. Let's have a look at the right hand. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, one and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. And here, the last time we play this, one, and two, and three, we don't play the whole figure because we have to play this. Okay, so one and two and three and four and got it? One and two and three and four and here, if you can, otherwise just. Oh, I got a sneeze. <gasps> Oh, I beg your pardon. Now here the trick is, you know, you're quite out of the section where you want to land. So, ba, 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 ba. you've got to practice that. There's just no other way that you're landing here on this wonderful fourth voicings. Uh, it's, uh, sorry, we have this, uh, fifth here with the octave and then from there from basically from here it's all perfect fourths creates this open jazzy voicing It's a bit meager, yeah? So my suggestion is to fill in that gap. Uh, you have to practice. Yeah, but hey, it's piano. And we do the, we continue while we play the theme, we continue as much as we can. We fill in the, uh, the hook line. A bit of the hook line. And here, grab below uh, what we can of the F minor 7 and it's the 7 here and the root and uh, sorry and again we take a little bit of these thirds from the D7 we learned before. And here we also grab what we can below and it's very nice because by chance we have a very nice jazzy voicing here. From the D7, D flat 7, can you see? So. This sounds so much nicer. Uh. And that's it. Then, before each solo part, they do the hook line. Ba, ba. And then, and 
then they come to the uh, import part. How can we improvise on this? We have three parts, the F minor 7 part, the D flat 7 part, and the D minor 7 part. And if we have a look at the F minor 7 part first, you will see that there are basically two scales playable. The first is, well, it's a kind of a hidden blues. It's, uh, it's also 12 bar. And of course, um, it has a strong bluesy sound. And you will see the, the guys on the original recording always improvising between the blues scale and the Dorian scale. These are the two scales that dominate the sound and they can be mixed. But let's bring a little order in it. So the Dorian scale would be this. Yes. And what you see me play is uh, a bit of the uh, blue scale, but also, and that is quite nice if you play funky to give it a little um, uh, spice, is the drone lick in the blue scale. So of course you can like play. That's always fine, but occasionally we need uh, more clashy stuff, more notes, and you will see me play this. And this is part of the drone lick that is along the blues scale. Top note always resounding with the lower notes just walking up the blues scale. And my favorite here al along this one is the one here. I like the sound. You see also the flat five being included here. The advantage of this one is that we can continue and this we can connect this way we can connect the, the F minor seven with the D flat seven part. And you can give the blue scale a structure, which is nice and funky stuff like. It's all blue scale, just sequence. So this is always a good idea. stuff and you can combine this with octaves or always with a little slide here and we have the drone lick so great stuff Let's have a look at the D flat seven bit, where we have the um, so-called Mixolydian sharp eleven scale. And here, it's always nice to emphasize the sharp eleven as the crucial sound, the uh, idiosyncratic sound in this uh, scale. And you saw me a lot like. Like you play the scale here, yeah. and you can always also give this scale a structure. Now we have the D uh, flat, uh, sorry, the D minor part, and here again we can play a bastard of blue scale and Dorian scale. 
Now, if we look at the Dor the Dorian scale is uh, we have we are in D minor, so this the birthplace of the Dorian scale is basically on the uh, second degree of C. Build the scale that um, with the material of C. We are then having the Dorian scale, and uh, it's the same basically than what we did before. What we had on F. Just on D, it's really nice because we have all white keys, and that gives us great possibilities to bluff our way around with a Dorian scale. For example, well, first of all, we have a look at the voicings. You know, you playing all your fourth stuff, like uh, what was it? You can do basically anything. It sounds fantastically like modern jazz, like you're the total, the total crack, total. Um, uh, uh, Pundit here, just fix your fingers in the f fourth position and then. You cannot do anything wrong. Fantastic stuff. Uh, like just again with triads walking down. And it's fantastic, you can play it fast in this scale. And you could even play it in fourth, like I mean it's all white keys. What can you what can you what can go wrong? If you want to go, <laughs> go to excess. But in my solo I played this one. And then you saw me combining again, like on F, combining the, uh, the Dorian scale with the Blue scale, the minor blue scale, and that sounds fantastic. I did things like, uh, hold on, uh, and let's have a look at what I played. The, the blue scale bits I played here. Blue scale on D minor is this one, and the licks I played were very much it's, it's not from me like it's really long-standing licks in here so or oh, and <laughs> again I'm sure one thing you wanted to uh, ex me to explain you these fourth stuff in the middle like <laughs> that was pure bluff pure pure bluff you know we have this fourth thing again you know I showed I showed you this fourth uh, in D bam 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 Michael China it's me Christian Tyner, um, and we, we can do the same in F. And when you have these F voices at your hand here, like stick to it, and you can do anything with it. The main thing is that when you are landing, that you're right, that your landing place is right. You can do chromatic stuff here. But here at the last one, I'm right. I'm on spot for the correct notes for the D flat seven voicing. You sit down, cup of coffee or Earl Grey tea, like myself, and then you just, you know, take a cup, um, take these chords, let's say the F minor seven in the left hand, like this, close by. To just to practice, then the D flat seven just like this, and the D minor seven just like this, and then you sit down. And what the the 
a beginner's mistake is he's playing the beginner's playing something and then he thinks ah now could come something ah now comes the drone lick uh, okay and then he plays like and uh, then uh, he played a bit of scale it's uh, try to connect uh, scale elements with multi voice elements multi voice elements are like you know more than just one uh, voice which is too thin Something like this. It does not have to be perfect, but connected. That's the main target at the moment, you know? Things like this. Okay. Then of course you will um, it totally internalize the the um, mixolydian scale and find the mixo sharp eleven scale and find ways. First of all, that this is your top note, you know. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> no matter what, make this your top note. <laughs> it's good practice. And then, of course, you by now you learn this, the uh, sequences I've showed you, and I'm a camera rapper while I play this. Okay. Now, next thing beginners do is there is a chord change. What they do is they they interrupt the phrase just to be ready to play something correct on the next chord. So, a typical beginners thing would sound like this. How oh, you come out here? D flat seven is ahead. And then, ah, okay, D flat 7, damn, where was it? And then they start something new and totally disconnected, you know? It must sound natural. Sound chord changes must sound natural in, in improvisation. So what you do next is you take a piece of scale from in F minor. And whatever comes, there's no interruption. You just hit the any inversion of voicing or two notes of the D flat 7. Like this, we come from here. Yes, and you at the beginning you really have to think because it's new. Find ways, no interruption. Don't sound like an amateur here. That was a nice one, you know. Or just, just really, or. How can I do this now? How can I how can I now finish on on D flat 7 here? Minor 7 and third. How can I finish? Oh lovely. Here. The six voicing. Things like this. Do that in and outside until you dream of it. Okay? Then uh, the D minor part. <clears throat> there. Uh, again, you know, you know the blue scale, of course. And again, you don't do like bit of blue scale. Ah, now, ah, what was that? Now a drone lick. Ah, it sounds great if you. And from all situations of your of your life out there. You can do, you can immediately morph from this blue scale into the drone lick, and that sounds fantastic, you know? You just start with a little bit of blue scale. It was a bit fast, but I'm in a, in a rush now because I want to pump you forward. Okay, and then you do the same, just the same with the. With the uh, sequencing uh, that sounds like a, sounds like a three thousand dollar thing, although you haven't got a clue what it is, I don't have either. So uh, just that, and you go immediately. You don't think. Here we go, and you sound like Herbie himself. Now get looping. Get get cat. 
Get jamming. Get jamming. So I hope you learned a lot from this big package. I put a lot of love into this video. Please appreciate it. Leave me a thumbs up. Helps this video, helps me, helps my channel, helps the whole world. Maybe not. And anyway, thanks for watching. Bye from Berlin. Stay safe. Bye.